one of us is chained, then none of us are free. It's the most dangerous strip of land in this area. One of the most economically distressed neighborhoods in Hillsborough County, Florida. Okay, we got a weapon. Sheriff's officers, look! It has a dozen names, but the ugliest one stuck. Suitcase City. Beating her on the street. I've been shot at. I've been beat up. They say they are watching them so they can take advantage of them. The gun was pointed and they started shooting and almost got shot. Families that now don't have a parent because they, they were murdered. In the story of Prometheus, you have the Titan, which actually brought down the knowledge of fire to humanity. And because he brought down that knowledge of fire, he was forever castigated and punished by Zeus, by tying him up to a mountain where an eagle will perpetually forever eat away at his intestines. And because of this, he was punished until the hero Hercules actually comes in to release him of his chains and freedom. I find an outstanding correlation between Prometheus and our ex-cons, which have the knowledge of the system and are unleashed into our community and share that knowledge with our youth, but are forever punished for what they have done and they're labeled as ex-cons and their false stigma and never able to truly enter our workforce. You see, and just like Hercules freed Prometheus, we can free these chains of violence in the community. I was walking, I seen them arguing about some, some game. I was walking, and then I walked through the middle while the man was shooting. He shot, and I ran home and went to go tell my mom. And I was only 11 years old. And do you feel that that is something normal? I don't think it's normal. I don't feel that it's normal. When was the last time you heard a shooting? What were you doing? and what was the first thought that came to your mind? Um, last time, I'd say about two weeks ago, I was outside playing and I heard, I'm like, ooh, that was really, I was kind of I'm like, okay, I'm glad I'm not always there in that area where I heard it. Living in a community like this, what are some of the characteristics you feel that you have to have in order to survive? You gotta be tough. Attitude, um, I guess, to learn how to fight because if you have no one there at your side to help you, you have to defend for yourself. If something is bond to me, I think I, sh I, think I should re retaliate to it because I don't want to seem soft or something like that. And where did you learn this from? I learned it from while I was raised in. I often see so many young people who want to be better but feel suppressed because of their environment, because of their community. They think this is how I have to be to be socially accepted or to be safe and protected. The average person in a gang that commits crimes of violence is from the ages of 13 to 21 years old. I know that in better areas, I could easily go outside at night, walk around, go hang out with friends, but here, I can't even leave my complex without my parents have to worry where I am at night. We are 25 times above the national average in part one violent crimes. 79% of all part one violent crimes within unincorporated Hillsborough County occur inside three square miles of the university area community. We also have above 21% unemployment rate in a university area community. We're passionate about this because every one of those numbers is somebody's family. This has happened to somebody real. This has happened to um, someone who gets up every morning and goes to work and tries to take care of their family and their lives are devastated by violence. We're trying to tackle this issue in trying to build that identity, that, that confidence, that self-esteem, and trying to give them an outlet even here at the University of Our Community Center. 
but we know we need more resources here. We know we need more programs, we, we need more sustaining initiatives so that way these kids can make it through elementary, middle, and high school and they can go off and have a life they never imagined because they were supported based on what goes on here. I was at my house and my we heard a bunch of noise outside. It was a man dragging out, I guess, his girlfriend and beating her on the street. And my parents, I guess people called the cops, but before they could come, the man got on his bike and left. Our students are afraid of walking to our school because they can get robbed on the way to school or on the way back home. Because después de las 7 de la noche, más tarde, lo digo. I don't feel safe where I live. All I hear people getting shot, people getting killed, people getting their jewelry took, people getting their money took. It's hard life out here. We have students there that have been assaulted that right now are going through a legal process because they have been uh, shot in their leg or others that have been killed. Bang <laughs> We as a community are being assaulted, are being robbed, are being murdered because sometimes but the bad guys see that we don't go to the police officers, we don't tell the police officers what's going on in here. I also know what it's like to grow up in the midst of violence. Uh, I've had a loaded gun fired in the air and then put in my face uh, when I was 14 years old. And it was fired in the air first so that I would know that it was loaded and that my life was in danger. And I know what that felt like, that moment of thinking that my life would be over at 14. Um, no child should have to go through that. We can change these things. This, this doesn't have to be this way. And so people hear the numbers and they think it's daunting and they think it's impossible. But nothing is impossible when a community comes together, when we agree that enough is enough. You can't even go outside and play basketball without being fearful of your life. You can't. You can't go outside and play double dutch and hear gunshots. Children know that this isn't natural, this isn't normal. Why is the university area community different? Why are people living in shackles? People should not have to live in fear. It's time that we break these shackles. It's time that we break these chains for our children, for our families, for the places that we reside, that we eat, that we sleep, that we play at. It's time to break these chains. An epidemiologist, Dr. Gary Sluckin, has studied violence and noticed that violence is much like a disease. And just like a disease is easily to be communicable and transferred to others, so is violence through social norms and certain violent behaviors. And just like a disease could be contained, so can violence. And he has implemented this program where he uses ex-convicts to work the communities as violence interrupters and actually locate high-risk individuals and partner them over to outreach workers which would get them out of the cycle of violence and the pandemic nature of violence. That is the reason why we truly feel that the Cure Violence model is the perfect model to be implemented in the university area community so they can truly get out of the perpetual cycle of not just poverty but of violence. If you know that this is not the route or the option, but now you also have support to not pursue that route or to pursue that option, it gives you hope. It literally gives you a breath of fresh air just to know that there is something set in stone, something set in place to help you grow outside of this system, this mindset, and this situation. It'll make this part of Tampa a better place. <laughs> We want our voice being heard that this is enough. 
We are hardworking people, we are a hardworking community, and what we want is respect. I came to UACDC because I grew up just like the kids and the families that we're trying to help. My mother was a single mom living on welfare. I know how people look at you when you hand in a Medicaid card instead of an insurance card. I know how people look at you when you give them food stamps instead of money in line. Uh, I know how the other kids in school look at you when you can't afford the same things that they have and the way that people treat you differently when you're poor. I know that you don't have a voice when you're poor uh, and UACDC is that voice. It's about us coming together to break the chains. It's about getting everybody involved. Um, not just nonprofits, not just government agencies and the sheriffs. It's about getting the people who live in these circumstances every day to say enough. This is our community and with the help of people who care we're going to take it back. We're going to take back our children's futures. We're going to take back a feeling of security because at some point along the line we've let it go and it's time for us to take it back. Prometheus is based on Cure Violence out of Chicago. The reason we love that model is that it's evidence-based. It works. Um, and we're willing to take any idea that works because it's time for us to do something different. We can't keep doing the same things that we've done decade after decade that have gotten us to where we are and expect anything different. Uh, now it's time for us to try new models. Cure Violence in Chicago has shown to decrease violence 40 to 60 percent in the communities that it has been implemented. It is such a trusted model that Trinidad, South Africa, West Africa and the Middle East also have cure violence programs. The University of Community wants to be the first cure violence program in the Southeast. And why should you help? Because although you are not a resident of the University Area Community, you are a resident of this global community called Earth. It's not about saving our streets, but it's about saving our youth. It's time to break the chain.